I created a test page showing three methods of how I could format this page. So at the top, I just have a simple header tag with a paragraph. Very simple, and you know, it, it will work in any mobile device responsively. Next, I have a table created by the table that's available in the Winisig editor, as you can see. And in the editor, it looks it looks like it could work where the exact same information is placed in the table. And third, I have a CS, I'm using CSS grid columns. And, and I even added more content to show you what CSS grid can do. Now in this editor, it's not this rendering as it should. You need to view this in the browser to see how CSS grid works so let's go preview in the browser here I am in Chrome here's the header tag with the paragraph it looks simple and here is the table as you can see the information scrolled all the way across and the scroll bar was is now displayed so you can view the information not quite what I want the look and here's CSS Grid. You can see all the information neatly placed in each grid or block the way I want it to look. So let's go back. Let's reduce it to a mobile view. As you can see, the, uh, the first method works nicely. The table has got even worse. This, you really got to scroll all the way across, which is not quite you want in, for the visitor to see in their mobile device. And here is the grid with all the contact neat, neatly placed in two columns, the way I would like it to be shown. So let's see how we did this. So let's take a look of how I did the CSS. First you go to Tools, open up Custom CSS. Let's scroll down and here's the grid. Very simple CSS. ID of content, display grid, tells websites a grid. The property of grid template columns. I'm using two columns. The first column is 60%, second column is 40%. You can also use fractions and you can also use pixels. Maximum width, margin height, width, width height, uh, background color to show with background of a table. The border is the border that goes around the table. And my second ID, content div, ten, padding of 10 pixels, and the border is within the, the block to show the, all the, to distinguish the different blocks within the table. Now let's take a look at the HTML. Let's go back to WinniSig editor. Open up HTML. And here is our HTML. There's our top H2 tag, title, and all the content. And under that we have the HTML for the basic table. As you can see here. As we scroll further down, here's the grid information. It's very simple with the div ID of content. And I have four divs, opening and closing div tags filled with all this massive content. And I purposely put a lot of information to show you that how the grid works flawlessly even with all this content in there, as you can see, as you go back to preview the page in the web browser, doesn't look much in the um, editor, but as you preview, go back to preview, you can see 
the simple um, tag, header tag with the paragraphs. Here's a table with the scroll bar. And then here's the grid with all that information is neatly placed within the each div block as you can see here. So I'm going to go with the CSS grid in this situation for my page. Now let's take a look at my about page using CSS grid two columns and see how it the final look is. You can see there's two columns, text on the left and the image in the right column all the way down the page. And until you hit the bottom where I stop using two columns, but basically that's the look I want. And that's CSS grid. In conclusion, you may be wondering how you can add more than two columns. You can add as many columns as you want. And using um, CodePen as an example here, I'll show you how you can change the amount of columns you can create with grid content. So let's, how, let's see how we do this. Let's make four columns. I'm going to make them four equal columns of 25% each. As you can see, we have four columns that automatically appeared. How about we change it to... Now, there's a shortcut where you don't have to write 25% four times, but that's going into other... We're going deeper into CSS grid, so I'm not going to go in down that rabbit hole right now. I'll just show you the simple way. Say we want to make three columns equal width, so 33.3% .3 three times. Remember, you can also use fractions and pixels if you so desire. And here we have three columns. As you can see, the fourth div falls under because it begins a new row. So if we were to add more divs, you see we have three columns with two rows. So that's how you would create a table-like appearance using CSS Grid. So hope this helps you and thank you for watching.